Okay, welcome back to part two of Daddy's Car. Uh, this is the counterintuitive bit. This is the bit that you would never write yourself. It's pure Mick Kern. And if you, if you read his book, he explains how he came up with these bass lines and how he generally came up with bass lines. So he would get a rhythm under his right hand and then play whatever notes would come to him <laughs> on the left hand. And a lot of the time, then the other musicians would kind of rejig what they were doing to fit in with this uh, atonal brilliance. And all the rules went out the window. It's why so. It's why so individual and unique. And again, apologies for all the noise. It's lashing rain and it's windy, but I have to have the windows open because I've got the lurgy. Okay, so um, we'll do as we always do. I'll play the track and I'll play along and then I'll show you uh, what he's doing. I'll break it down for you. Okay, thank you. Together arm in arm In an avenue wide and tall I'm just gonna go through what he's doing on this. Um, one thing I want, there's two things I wanna point out. One is that the bass is double tracked and each track is panned hard and left and right, or maybe 75% left and right. And the reason I mention that is it sounds like there's a chorus on it, but it isn't a chorus, it's just panning. The other thing is the track is about 50 cents or a quarter tone sharp. So either you put it into software and pull it back or tune your bass up or just play along because it, it's not that far out that, it, that you couldn't. So we're going to start on the open G and we're going to hammer on on the open G up to the ninth fret. Okay, so there's your first two notes. And then <laughs> your next note is you're going to hammer from the ninth fret to the 11th fret. So you get a kind of Open G, 9th fret, 9th fret to the 11th fret. Um, you're going to do the same pattern down a string. So open D. Now th the rhythm of this is slightly different. So the first one's... So the first one's... Da, 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 right? Next one is the open A. You're gonna hammer onto the ninth fret and hammer from the ninth to the eleventh, just like the G, just like the very first one. And then uh, the open E. The next, so I'll, I'll just do that again. From the top, open G. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll just pause this because I'm going to get interrupted and then I'll do the next bits. Like with so many of these uh, McCarn bass lines, there's a central riff and then little colory uh, little things he does to to break it up right so you got this we'll call this a central riff right okay so the first there's four uh, little colory bits he does the first one is you're gonna hit with your thumb he does it here right well, I'm gonna do it there because there isn't a lot of difference and I don't be kind of but you can do it there so we're going to play the third fret with our left hand on the E string, and it's going to be a big wide smear like that, not a little, not a little bit of a rather but big wide one. Okay, so G, open A. So from the top. That's the first one. Now our second little riff in the, in the verse part is we go again okay 
And this is the one that's really striking. This one always stood out for me. He goes. So all he's doing there is with your index finger, play the first fret on the G string. And with your second finger, play the second fret on the D string. Do a double stop, so your two fingers. Then move that up one fret. So, and one fret again. So it's the same shape. So. That's the second one. Okay, third one. Uh, it's the central riff again. And on the ninth fret on the G string, fret that would, I know I say fret, but you know what I mean. Um, put your finger on the ninth fret of the G string and get the widest smear you can. So it's, that's what he's doing. And then an open G. Right, so it's like. So just a wide smear on the ninth and then an open G. We're nearly there, one more. Okay, so the last one, the last part of the verse is you do your central riff. And we're going to go open, uh, I'll play it first. <laughs> it's fab, isn't it? So we're going to go open D, hammer onto the third fret of the D, open G. hammer onto the third fret of the of the G. Now slide that note up as high as you can make it with you see what happens is if you if you take too long to slide up you lose the momentum that the note stops ringing so it's, right you get as high up as you can and then you play an open D and it's it's short notes so it's Okay, so open D, hammer on, open G, hammer on to the third, and all the way up. Okay, so from the top for the mall is. and that's it that's Dally's car okay so keep the requests coming I hope that was helpful to you thanks again